Hey everyone, today I'm making another video on Excel. This is going to be the easiest way to connect any AI tool inside of Microsoft Excel. Now there's going to be a little bit of code in this, but it's not gonna be too crazy. I'm gonna make sure to go you know, line by line so you can understand what the code is doing. But essentially what it's doing is just making an API call to Relevance AI. If you're not familiar with Relevance AI, it's more of like, it's a platform that helps you build AI agents and AI tools, put them all together and deploy them. So I'm just gonna be creating an AI tool in Relevance AI and then calling that tool from Excel, getting the output back and then having it directly in Excel. And if you're brand new to the channel, my name is Elliot. I make YouTube videos on essentially AI and automation. And then recently a lot of Excel automation as well. And I make these videos for business owners trying to get started, maybe implement these solutions for themselves. And I am also trying to help others like me who are building AI agencies, AI businesses and help them get started with you know, automation if you have absolutely no background. I'm also running ManyFlow AI, which is a company that I founded just over a year ago now actually, where we specialize in building agents, custom solutions, all sorts of AI automation tools, systems for businesses. And so I'll have that in my description as well if you're interested in that. And then, yeah, with all that being said, let's just, um, let's just get into it. So this is the spreadsheet, it's very basic. I just formatted this very quickly here. Essentially the tool that we're building is we have a LinkedIn URL and a status and requirements. So I'm gonna just show you a quick demo of this. I'm gonna put a requirement as like, uh, needs a college degree and must reside in California, let's just say that. And then I'm gonna paste in my actual LinkedIn URL here. The tool is going to be called and then we should get a status of qualified. Perfect, because I do reside in California and I have a college degree. Now, if I change this to, for example, must attend Stanford and have, you know, three years of experience. Let's say that I did not go to Stanford and I don't have three years of experience. Also, that's very broad. So we'll see what happens. I'm just gonna re-paste this in. Well, I could have pasted it right below if I wanted to. And now you'll see it says unqualified because it just scraped my entire LinkedIn profile. And I'll show you when I build the tool, but it scraped my whole LinkedIn profile and notice that I do not meet any of these requirements. Now from here, I'm not gonna get into the code just yet. We're gonna build the Relevance AI tool and then code it and put everything together. So just Google uh, Relevance AI, then sign up, make a free account, and then you can be able to do all this for free. And then if you want to learn Relevance AI and do more things with it, then I suggest you get the, the paid plans. You get a few credits per month, I believe, which is the plan that I'm on. So here's the tool, I'm gonna create new tool. So I should probably go back here and show you. You're gonna to wanna to go on new here, click on this, and then that'll make a new tool that looks like this. So I've already built mine, so I'm gonna go over it here. I'm gonna click back right here. I called it LinkedIn Qual Tool YouTube. So for the inputs, I have LinkedIn URL, which is a, you know, a text string. That's just what I have it on right now. And I renamed the variable as URL. You just double click here. So here we can grab my URL again, paste it in here. Then I have requirements. So I just added a new input. And for, to do that is very easy. You click on expand, click on right here, one of these text, make a new input. I'm just gonna close that for now. So I have requirements. I gave it a small description, small description. And then the requirements will say needs to attend uh, Harvard. Next, we're gonna click on the plus sign here and we're gonna add the get a LinkedIn profile company and posts. So when you add a new tool, you're just gonna to wanna to search that in, just search it in LinkedIn. And it's gonna be this one right here, get a LinkedIn profile company and posts. So paste that in. All we are doing is the URL that we're calling is going to be the URL variable, which is this one right here, which is called URL. So I to do that, you wanna make sure to put in two brackets. And then once you put in here, I'll just delete this for now. When you delete, when you put in two brackets, you notice that these come up. And I think it even comes up if you just click it. Yeah. But if you later, when we do the LLM step, you're going to want to put in two brackets and select the variable that you've defined. Click on URL. And then here, the method, we can select what we want to do. User post, profile, company profile, get company post. I just want to get the user profile. Next, we click on the plus again, and we're going to add an LLM step this time. So same thing, just type in LLM. And this is just basically an AI step with a prompt. So you just give it a prompt, ask it what you wanna do, and then we're gonna plug in the variables that we have. So it's a very basic prompt, analyze the user LinkedIn profile and determine if they meet the specified requirements. Your output only respond with qualified or unqualified. And then here is the input. We have LinkedIn data and requirements. 
So for requirements, same thing. That's the variable that we have right here it needs to attend Harvard. So that's going to be plugged in here. And then LinkedIn data is going to be, I believe if I run it, I'm just going to run this once. We're going to see what our output is, but you'll see that the actual output of right here, we get all of this. This is my entire LinkedIn basically scraped. And so all of this is being provided directly to the LLM step, right? If we just type in two brackets, this is all the stuff from the LinkedIn. So I just did dot data because it has everything, but you could also just, just do the about, just the city, all that, all that sort of stuff. You can have all that be in here. And just like that, that is basically just the tool that is built. So we're going to click on publish changes, and then you're going to want to go to use and API. Now, this is the section that we're going to need coding. So all we are doing is accessing this information via the code. So I'm going to jump right back into Excel really quickly. You're going to want to go to the developer tab. Now, if you don't have the developer tab, you're going to want to go to file, click on options and click down on customize ribbon and click on developer. You want to check this box and click OK. So now you should have the developer tab open up here. And then we're going to click on Visual Basic. So this is the code. As like I said, it's not very long, so I'm going to break it down. I also made sure to have comments here so that this helps visually see what's actually going on here. Essentially here, the worksheet change is basically triggering whenever the worksheet, and you'll see below here, table one, notices any changes. So if I click on here, you'll see that it says a table design. So I click on, you see here, I called it table one. So it's looking for changes here. So we wanna make sure that table one is actually the name of our table. We have the worksheet change here. Here is only fire if changes happen in column A of table one. So that's this whole section is essentially just doing that part. If column A is nothing, then exit sub do nothing if change is outside column A. So we don't want anything changing outside of this column. And then here we have some else. Uh, if there's no URL del deleted. So we have only call the API if the cell has a value, so it's not deleted. So when it watches that change, we want to make sure that it matches that same row, which is why we're using offset here and just shifting by one. Same thing, if the URL is deleted, this is a, an issue that I had because I'd be pasting in the URL, deleting it, it would still trigger as I deleted it and output it like brackets. So here I have a clear contents once the URL is deleted. Here we're just going to be defining some variables. Here we have the API configuration, the HTTP post, the HTTP post request, and then write response to column. So this, all of this right here is basically what we get from Relevance AI. So we're going to pull up Relevance AI again here, and I'm actually going to make private. I'll explain that in just a sec. And when you make it private is when you can generate your API key. So first things first, I'm going to generate the API key. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go back to Excel and I'm going to paste it right here. So we're just going to paste that in. That's our new API key, or it might have been the same one. I'm actually not sure. The API URL, that is, so I'll delete that as well. That is taken from this endpoint here. Copy that, and we're going to paste it in. So now it's calling this endpoint. We have our API key. And then down here, we want to make sure to put in content type application slash JSON. And then we have a set request header authorization and then off. And here that's coming from, if you look at the sample curl, we have content applications slash JSON for the header authorization, your API key. So all this stuff and as well, if you're confused, just send all this information to ChatGPT. It'll even write it for you. You don't have to actually copy everything word for word. Just get this stuff, send it to ChatGPT, and it'll help you configure that actual code yourself. Now, really important here, we want to make sure to deploy this. Now, once we click deploy, that means that is live. Now we can actually access the tool. So we can probably close this out now. Everything should work. We're going to go to Excel, and we're going to test out our new tool. So I'm going to delete this. I'm going to say must have, let's say, Excel skills and experience doesn't require college degree. So those are our requirements. Here we'll paste in my URL again. 
and we'll see that it says qualified. Perfect. And then we could always just have a bunch of other, you know, random LinkedIn's here. Let me just go to my network, honestly, and find a completely random person. So this is someone that actually requested me. I'm going to paste it in this lovely gentleman that I do not know. Uh, he says he is a full stack software developer. So here he is unqualified because he does not have Excel skills. But what if I say must have software, let's say software and development skills, doesn't require a college degree. That's just kind of neutral. So let's just paste this back in. And now it should change to qualified. Perfect. One thing I did forget to mention here, we can unhide this column here. See, essentially, this is what the actual output is looking like. It's going answer and then qualified. Uh, I don't think that looks pretty. So I essentially just built a formula here that gets rid of that. Uh, another way of doing this is to import the JSON converter. For, I think it's on GitHub. I do have it, but I didn't want to include that in this video. So I just figured I would hide this column here. And then here we have a formula that essentially just an if statement, if this is blank or if that column is blank, we are outputting blank. And if it's not blank, we have a mix of the mid function, the find function, we have some numbers as well, all that just to clean up the nasty little, oops, clean up the nasty little um, quotes and curly brackets. And just like that, we were able to have our own AI tool inside of Microsoft Excel, a little bit of code, and then we just connected it with Relevance AI. And yeah, now you can do whatever you want with this. Now you know how kind of these APIs work with Relevance AI. Just build your tool, connect it with some VBA. If you're lost and you, know, you need help, you could always have ChatGPT help you out. But uh, yeah, so thanks so much for watching this video. If this was something valuable, if you liked it, it was helpful, just leave a like or comment down below anything that you, any questions you have, any future video ideas that you want me to build. We could be even connecting this with make.com and they then can make this a lot more complex. But the purpose of this video was just to keep it quite simple and kind of get you started with importing tools in Excel with a little bit of code. So, so thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.